one is all about anchors, wall anchors, and different kinds of material, wall material. You have a drywall, plaster, and masonry. Everything on the right here could be used in either plaster or masonry. Everything to the left here can be used in, in drywall, uh, hollow, hollow wall applications. And these ones here are not so much anchors as they are fasteners. You have the, uh, the masonry fastener here, or you could take a hammer drill, maybe even an impact drill with a masonry bit. And then you will fasten whatever you're fastening to the wall with the fastener. Um, I use this one. This one could be used for TV mounting into bricks, concrete. Uh, this one is for much lighter, much lighter things. Uh, it's coated, so it's a little bit uh, more rust proof. And then if you're gonna fasten something to a stud behind the drywall, then you would use a regular construction screw here. You won't need an anchor. Some of these anchors, for instance, this one says it's good to be able to put into a stud and then you could put the screw into the anchor. But if you're gonna, if you have a wood stud behind the wall anyway, you may as well just use a construction screw. Uh, don't forget that you'll have a half inch of drywall. So if you're gonna fasten something heavy, you're gonna need to make it longer than this one. Uh, so here we have the drywall anchors. We have some small ones. These ones here are usually what comes, the cheap ones that usually come with uh, shelves or anything else that you're gonna uh, fasten to the wall. I wouldn't use this for anything other than something very light. I like sometimes these small ones, you can get away with drilling a smaller hole, less dust, and then you can hang you know, a very tiny picture. Something that's this short um, can actually come in handy if you have something behind the drywall uh, maybe a metal plate on the uh, stud so you can't drill through it protecting either a pipe or uh, or electrical wiring and then this this can actually be put in uh, again for something very tiny and here we have the easy easy anchors you don't even need a pilot hole you don't need to drill a hole this just goes right into the drywall and then you would actually take a screwdriver you don't even need a drill and then you would turn it and I'll show you that in a minute when we get to the actual uh, drywall and then for heavier things you have these toggle bolts this is an easy toggle uh, same idea you don't even need a pilot hole uh, you could make a mark where you're gonna where you want to hang it and then you'll take a screwdriver and you'll actually Make the hole here, and then when you get to the drywall, careful not to over tighten. And then what you do is you put this in, and then we'll engage on the toggle. So this would be behind the wall here, and then you would tighten this, tighten this, so then this toggle holds real tight against the wall so it can hold. Uh, I think, I believe this one is 100 pounds. Um, the lighter ones here may be um, either 40 or 75 pounds. Uh, same idea, you don't want to over tighten or then you'll strip the hole. And one drawback is you'll have a pretty large hole uh, as opposed to something like this. And here you have the, uh, the snap toggle. You'll drill a pretty big hole, push this through, and then this will be behind the drywall. Push this all the way up and then you'll be able to fasten uh, whatever it is you're hanging on the wall. And then uh, for heavier things on plaster, you could use something like a toggle bolt, which is the uh, same idea. You drill about a 3 8 inch hole, push this through, it springs open, and it'll hold real tight, whether it's uh, drywall or plaster and lath. So you have a pretty thick area in the plaster and lath, so you want to get this nice and, uh, nice and deep behind. Make sure it springs open behind everything, and then it'll just tighten real tight against the the plaster. For lighter things in plaster, I use a regular uh, masonry 
uh, masonry anchor. You drill a quarter inch hole through the plaster. And then um, the way these, these anchors work here is, uh, this one here is for uh, TV mounting. They don't recommend just trying to put it in a drywall, but if you have a concrete, um, what happens is you drill a hole and then you push to this or ham uh, hammer it in. The holding power comes from when you put the screw in and then this part expands. Same with this one, and it'll expand against the plaster, concrete, brick, whatever it may be. Uh, similar with these lead anchors. Um, this one's pretty small. Can, you can put it in stucco, um, you know, and then what you'll do is you put your screw through here and this part here will expand, giving it a pretty good uh, holding power. These ones here are for extremely heavy, uh, heavy duty situations where you'll actually, uh, you know, for instance, this one here could be used to, uh, to fasten a ledger, ledger board on a deck to concrete. Um, the way they work is you push this through or hammer it in and then when you turn the nut here this part here will expand and then you get pretty good holding power there uh, another one for the drywall would be uh, this one here um, 3 8 inch hole and then you bend this and you, you push it in comes with this little push thing so you make sure it actually pushes behind uh, this one is just for drywall I wouldn't try to use it for plaster because it's not deep enough um, similar with this one uh, this one as you turn this this here will actually have four of these things which will compress and then hold behind the drywall um, as you'll see I'll, I'll, I don't have a, a, a brick or a cinder block um, example but we'll put some of these into some drywall and we'll see how they hold up <laughs> 